Hello my friends, today we have another beautiful e-paper display controlled by ESP32 of course. I've had uh, this board for a while now and I think I haven't showed it to you in one of my previous videos. This is huge 10 inch e-paper board called the Inkplate 10 made by Soldred and Soldred has mastered a combination of ESP32 and e-paper technology. They offer e-paper boards in various sizes and shapes for, a, for example this is 6 inch version Inkplate 6 and a few months ago I also showed you their super fast e-paper display with an uh, impressive refresh rate of 11 frames per second. All these boards are uh, hobbyist or maker friendly and I'm, to program it I'm using Arduino ID as I would with any other ESP32. And here is my internet weather station that I made for this beauty. Uh, the board is connected to my Wi-Fi and I'm using Open Weather Map API to get weather, weather data. The board also has a built-in real-time clock chip, I will show it later. So we have time and date displayed here. I won't uh, go into details about open weather map and or how to get weather data for a specific location since I explained that a few times before. I will share a few links. In this video I wanted to show you that it's possible to use LVGL and Squareline Studio even for e-paper di displays. Yes, this U user interface is made using Squareline Studio. I know that many of you may not want to use Squareline Studio because of its cost, but do you really need the paid license? I'm using the personal, free personal license and it works just fine. Yes, I'm limited to 150 objects, but that is more than enough. Creating this user interface wasn't that hard. The most challenging part was displaying it on displaying it correctly on ink plate 10. LVG typically uses 16 bits color depth which means each pixel requires 2 bytes and the ink plate 10 however can only show 8 different colors black, white and few shades of grey in between. So for each pixel we need 3 bits and one byte can store two pixels. That's why we can have so large a ink displays. For example, resolution of this is uh, 1200 or 1200 <laughs> pixels by 820. So the hardest part uh, was converting LVGL buffer to the format the ink plate uses. For this I used this custom function. I will share this code for you. It might be useful. It might be useful to just see the concept of this. I will also share Squareline Studio project file so you can edit it and use it for your own projects. Yes, I could have used the traditional method, but with Squareline Studio I was able to work much faster. Plus I can easily integrate ready-made modules like this calendar or this graph, for example. Programming this using simple graphical functions would take a while. I don't use e-paper displays very often. But I need to admit, they look great. Update time is slow, but in my case I only need to refresh it once per minute, when the time changes. Part that I love the most is this temperature, temperature graph which shows last 24 hours. And we can see that two four 
six, eight, ten. That um, yesterday around, I don't know, three or four was maximum temperature, twenty three, and minimum temperature was like three hours ago, which was seventy. So. It is still warm here in Croatia. These data are for Zagreb, capital city of Croatia. What I like also with this board is the fact that I can easily hang this on my wall. And as you can see, cable is not connected because there is huge battery inside let's check it what is inside we will use my letterman bottle opener is also always great tool to have with you it says open here so we'll open easily I love that nice purple color you can also see it here very nice 3d printed box very precise printed so here is storage for battery or here and underneath we can see a large battery which will give many hours of runtime to this what I also like is we have push button we can use and program SD card slot real time clock chip I'm not sure where it is maybe this one it is hard to see under the camera uh, additional GPIOs here is a set button overall very nice and gorgeous board and huge 10 inch thank you thank you for your time tell me what you think do you like this concept showing as square line studio on ink paper and please leave a comment and have a nice day and uh, yes don't forget to subscribe if you like this video thank you goodbye